Good day everybody and welcome to today's vlog. Today, morning. morning, we are at Universal Universe. Orlando and we haven't yet decided whether we're going to Universal or Islands of Adventure. Either way, let's see what it's all about. <laughs> Chocolate Emporium. We have so got to check that out. I know, can't wait. Hard Rock. We haven't eaten there before and we really got to check that out. But look at these, we've got a couple of young guys down here and they're part of the Stars Performance Programme. So there they are, they're singing along. We've got They've... some rockers in the making. Yeah, we've got some rockers in the making. There we are. Do you want to go and join their band? Yeah, I'm going down there. That is a money shot, isn't it? Look at that. Bang on, universal. But the sun is right in our eyes today. But I kid you not, it's been cloudy all morning. And look up there, it's just full of clouds. And we are expecting a bit of rain around about lunchtime today. So we'll see how it goes. But we should only get a few hours here before the rain comes and hits us. But just before we enter into here, just before, we need to upgrade our passes because we've currently got a two-park pass and we need to upgrade it to a three-park pass for Volcano B. The queues are actually really big today. We should have known it is a Saturday. Um, so we're going to do the three-park upgrade later uh, on the way out. But we are now in the park. Look at this. This is awesome. I can't wait to come down here and do the Halloween Horror Nights. We've only ever done Horror Nights how many times? We did it once before. Yeah. We were we came on the opening night in like the end of September a couple of years ago. Because it was the opening night. We just we queued for four hours in the rain for one ride, one one haunted house. One haunted house. It was absolutely heaving, but that just shows how popular Halloween Horror Nights really is. Um, but we're going to do two nights here this year. Um, but Pretty enough nice. talking. Oh yes! But enough talking. Let's get on with some rides. So we've just rode the Rip Ride Rocket Roller Coaster. It is animal in its own self. It's just brilliant. But what I would highly recommend is just on the uh, two seats just there to make sure that you guys check it out. If you're a bit on the larger size, uh, like I am, so I'm a 20 stone guy, so just make sure that you check it out first. Um, so I, I'm fine. I could ride it, but I just need to be on row three, which is uh, the big boy seat. Ooh, what do we have here? Halloween Horror Night t-shirts. Wow. Let's have a look. 24.95. That's not bad. This one's cool. This one's got all the scare zones on it. Yep, $25. Now what is that the sound of? Oh, oh it's a blaze rabbit, isn't it? <laughs> Here we are. Let's get it. Let's go around the corner. Oh, look at there. Let's boogie. Yeah. you Beetlejuice we do I miss you Beetlejuice. we do but we cannot wait to see what Fast and Furious Supercharged has in store for us now last time we came there's a bunch of cars here so obviously we told you a white lie about the uh, sky because it's actually cleared right up now oh 
Oh. All I've done is seen pictures of this on Facebook oh, it's and been social going media. Hasn't it? But when they first put this up, they didn't have these barriers, but they've only put the barriers in because people, we assume, were climbing. Everyone's climbing on it. Look, we're outside King's Cross. And we're just checking out some t-shirts. And, uh, oh, hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Here we are, look, we're at Leicester Square Station. We're gonna grab a tube now because we are absolutely boiling. So we wanna cool off. Cue that music. We're going to say Taratu uh, Diagonale. It's absolutely evening there. It's actually quite small, isn't it? Yeah. It's actually quite small. So we're going to say bye to Diagonale and we're going to say hello again to London. And there is the night bus again. So, should we take a look around? Around this way? Yeah, we're actually going to take a, a walk around here. We're going to pop to the Quickie Mart, or we're going to pop into Simpsons, the area of Simpsons, and we're going to find one of these huge donuts that everybody keeps going on about for five dollars. So we're going to go and get a donut. We're going to take it back to the hotel, but straight after this, we're going to finish up here at Universal, and we're going to head to Cowfish. We're going to go and get some sushi, aren't we? Sushi. Sushi. Oh yes. Lily, I can't find the donut. Oh, I found it. Take a big bite. <laughs> you can't even touch the end of it. <laughs> this was $5.99 plus tax. Beautiful. So, there we are, just like you, darling. These donuts you can actually buy right in the quickie mart and soon as you walk straight through, go straight up to the counter and you'll find them just there. Now, we said when we walked into Magic Kingdom yesterday, we said, wow, look how much. Halloween decorations are and let me just show you this Wow wow, I don't think they could possibly get any more pumpkins in here if they tried look at them Look at how many wires they've got in this area the temporary wiring they've got purely just for the Halloween Horror Nights I mean the amount of effort these guys put into this is just unreal. It really is I can't wait. I really can't wait what? <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> so that's it for the day at Universal Studios Florida. Okay. And hey up Les. Hello. We just upgraded the two park to a three park. Three park. So, the lady just kindly done that for us. It's $150 plus tax. Boom, done, dusted. That's it. So, where do you want to go now for some food? Cowfish, baby. These are one of the reasons we come to Cowfish. These are truffle fries. So, we have got beautiful golden fruits, fries, smothered in a, a cheese and bacon uh, combo. There's a lot of garlic in it as well, and they are absolutely amazing. And Will's is not here, so I'm gonna eat them all to myself. Uh -huh. Nice. <laughs> We're just waiting for our king roll to turn up. Yeah. And even if you don't like sushi, king roll will make you a sushi lover. This is a king roll. And for the record, Lenny, you didn't eat all of the fries. <laughs> I I've just done, watched though. the footage back. I could have done. But yeah, because we had um, fries for a starter or, or an appetizer, we decided to go for a salad. How about that? So, 
Yeah, we're going to get stuck into this. This is beautiful. You've got your ginger, ginger wasabi, wasabi soy sauce. This is crab paste on top. No, this is crab uh, crab shavings, and this is orange bits. So we're exiting the park now, we're leaving Universal, we're leaving City Walk. We must pick up the car from Valet before 7 o'clock because from 1 minute past 7, bang, you have to start paying the charges. They don't come within the uh, Premier Pass privileges. So we're going to be heading out now. Halloween Horror Nights is going to be starting shortly. The place is getting absolutely rammed. It's really busy. Yeah.